monsters breed well in wartime, do they? Whoa! My tomorrow be better than yesterday. Didn't expect it. We know each other. Not personal, like, though I've seen ye many times. I've a gift. I see the future. Yours as well. But not for free, I guess. I don't ask much, if you've a bite to eat. Been having these visions long. Since I were a tyke, me mother took me to the village witch once. I fells into a cauldron full of some magic brew. Mm -hmm. Seriously? If I'm to tell it serious, twere as a youth that I got hit in the back of me head with a rock, started seeing more than others. Here. Thank ye. A fine offering. Well worth a foretelling. <sighs> All right. Let's hear it. I see a white wolf. He looks on as the great viper bites and devours the silver lily. He wants to spring. He wants to fight. But the serpent is quicker. The lily must perish. That's not the future. Lived through that, and you probably heard about it in some ballad. My third eye grows foggier the older I become. But if you bought me some dragon's root... Rare plant. Rare indeed. But it did once grow in a cave southeast of here. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Dragon's root. I wonder if it can really help the old man see the future.
That's it, Roach. So you're that white one. Ooh. Tamaria will be free again one day. Oh, you're back. Got what you asked for. Thank you. Now I need a moment. Driving forward towards a solitary tower, midst a blizzard. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As to others say, so shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood, of hen care, of a planted seed. Ithleen's prophecy. Leave me be. Go. Go now. <laughs> 